Have you ever found a really cool rock and wondered to yourself what it is? Well, you probably took it home and just forgot about it and it's probably collecting dust somewhere now, but what if you could just take a picture of it, give it to a program, and have it identify it for you right then and there? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at an app that does exactly that. Now, over the years, I've checked out a lot of the apps and services that claim to be able to identify any rock with just a picture of it, but the truth is there's a lot more to identifying rocks beyond just how it looks. For example, here I have one of the most famous examples of look-alike minerals. Here we have a piece of amethyst, and here we have a piece of fluorite. They're both very deep purple and crystalline minerals that the average person probably won't be able to distinguish from each other. But the thing is, you can easily tell them apart just by testing their hardness. Amethyst, which is a type of quartz, is a lot harder than fluorite. And just scratching one with any old knife will give you the answer. Unfortunately though, you can't really do that with a picture, but today we're going to be testing that out. This app is simply called Rock Identifier, and I downloaded it off the Google Play Store. And to my right here, I have a bunch of different minerals, and we're going to put it to the test. So first of all, let's see how it does against this rock I showed earlier. So all we do is click the camera button right here, allow access, point it at the rock, and snap a photo. So it says it's gold, or pyrite. So this is actually a pyrite nodule, and as you might know, pyrite is known as fool's gold. So I guess we managed to turn this app into a fool, but you know, it was a good effort. Let's try some different things. Let's see how it does against the amethyst and fluorite. So we'll start off with the amethyst here. All right, let's give that a try. Red cap amethyst. Red cap amethyst is a commercial name for the material similar in appearance to the well-known purple amethyst. So that's interesting because it does mention here that it contains hematite, which causes the reddish coloring on the on the top of the crystals. I was a bit worried with that first identification, but you know what? Um, I'm impressed so far. Let's see how it does with the fluorite. Same thing. Lapidolite, barite. It did eventually get fluorite, but it took it a couple tries. Uh, let's try adding a white background. Maybe maybe that'll help. Let's try that again. All right, let's see what it spits out. Fluorite. Okay, there we go. It got it first try now. Alright, so I think it's time to really put this app to the test. We're going to start with some more iconic, easier to identify minerals, and then we'll work our way up. So here we have a very nice chunk of chalcopyrite, also known as peacock ore in this form. Basically dunk it in acid to bring out these cool iridescent colors. Alright, so it immediately gave us bornite, which is basically the same thing as chalcopyrite, just different balances of the, the elements. And second try, chalcopyrite. Let's see what it got on third try. Amethyst! because it's purple. All right, so either way, it got it pretty quickly. Next, we're gonna try some iron ore. This one's also very iconic because it's got that sort of bubbly, botryoidal uh, crystal habit. Should get this first try. Hematite, there you go. I'm sure you all know what this one is. This is a desert rose made of gypsum. Desert rose, there you go. Next, we have this very bright yellow mineral right here. It smells like rotten eggs, there's a hint. Oh, what happened with the picture there? Sulfur, there you go. Got it literally instantly. All right, last one we have here. There's actually two different types of minerals here, but one is a bit more bluish, and that's what we're gonna be taking a look at. Celestine, got it first try as well. All right, so I was able to do those pretty easily. Let's get to some harder ones. First off, got this nice blue one. Sodalite, okay, got it instantly. I was afraid it was gonna go for, oh, it gives us a different type of sodalite instead of just jumping to Lapis Lazuli, which I kinda expected to happen. But that was, that was a bit easy. Let's get to some green. There aren't too many green minerals, so I don't think it'll have a hard time here. Ooh, conicalcite, olibonite, and malachite. Okay, there it took a couple tries because this isn't your typical sort of formation of malachite. This one should be pretty easy because of the color, but there are a couple minerals that it could mistake it for, and I really want to see how it does here. This is a piece of Chrysocoia that I got at a museum many years ago. Got those nice little quartz bugs. Chrysocoia, got it first try. And then, I'm guessing that's turquoise. Ooh, Chrysocoia chalcedony. And azurite, okay. So, yeah. This one might be a bit trickier because it is kind of all the same color, and the crystals aren't that defined. Androdite? Okay, okay, there we go. It's technically almondine. I'm not too sure about the difference between androdite and almondine, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty much the same thing. There's almondine there. That looks to be about the same thing, so we'll leave it at androdite. But either way, I would have been happy with just any kind of garnet. This one should also be pretty easy. It's a fairly common formation, so shouldn't have any issues here. Credite. Credite. 
the heck is Creedite? N that's no, no. Vanadnite, okay. Aragonite. It took and look at that picture. Look at that picture. It looks exa it looks exactly the same. How did it get Creedite? I've never heard of Creedite. Let's let's try that again. Let's I'm gonna zoom in on the Aragonite right there. There you go. Took it a couple tries. Actually, you know what? Let's see what we could do to distinguish the two based on what it gives us. So it says here that Creedite has a monoclinic crystal habit. And it also says it's rare. So if you're finding this in a rock shop for like five bucks, chances are it probably isn't Creedite. Let's see, Aragonite. And here it says it's orthorhombic. But yeah, it's good that it gave us the tools to sort of distinguish the two. And then last but not least, we have this one. It's got these very geometric square crystals. So. It should be pretty obvious if you know what this is. Wolfenite. All right, first try. All right, here we got round three. Things are getting a bit more interesting. Got some different types of the same crystal here, so we'll see how it does against that. Uh, let's start easy. Got a piece of appetite here. You can tell because it's a very nice hexagonal shape, so it shouldn't have any issue, but we'll see. We do have that very defined crystal face right there. Florapatite. Okay, it even got the, the subspecies. All right, pretty good. Next, we'll go into this one here, which is one of my favorites. Got these very big geometric, almost blocky crystals. White on white might not be the best idea. Yeah, clear quartz. Um, definitely isn't clear quartz. Let's try against darker background. The crystal shape is a bit of a giveaway here. Still bite. Okay, what it's showing there is not still bite. That is apophyllite. But you know this little piece of pink stuff here is actually still bite, which occurs a lot with abophyllite. And clear quartz again, pink Himalayan quartz. Gave me two types of quartz. It's not even pink. Let's try turning it around so the still bite is less apparent. Zeolite. It just gave me the entire family. I mean, both abophyllite and still bite are in the zeolite family, but they're two very different minerals. Got still bite again. Datalite. Let, let, let's see. Let's see what we can do to correct this. Apo, floor apophy. There's there's just no apophy. Whatever. Floor apophyllite. Sure. Thanks for your identification. No problem. Next one. Got a nice piece of fluorite. Very nice cube. Barite. Okay. Calcite. Okay. Fire opal. Fire. Where do you see the fire? It's like the dullest fire ever. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. It. Maybe that was just. That was actually a pretty bad photo. What if, we, what if we hold it up like that? Oh, we've got like the little inclusion there. It's gotta help, right? Calcite, barite, fluoride. Okay. It eventually got it. I wouldn't say that's reliable, like, at all. But then again, there's so many different types of fluoride that I guess it's eventually gonna get it wrong. We have another very cubey mineral that is also a salt. It also tastes salty. Okay. It tastes salty, and that is because it is literally rock salt. I don't know if it's going to be able to do this. Hey, like, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I doubted it. That, that should have been pretty easy. All right, next one. We've got a very dangerous one. This is Orpiment. It's an arsenic sulfide. Uh, should I take it out of the case? I don't think I'm going to take it out of the case. Hopefully it doesn't care too much about it being the case. Orpiment. Okay, that's good. That's good. Didn't have to take it out of the case, so it's good to see. Here we have two types of anadonite. Shouldn't have an issue because this does look like a lot of other kinds of anadonite. Yep, there you go. So what I am curious about is this more uncommon type of uh, vanadnite formation. It's on a bit of gertite, a bit of ochre. This one isn't as common. Let's see how it does. That was a good picture. Vanadnite. Awesome. Ooh. Got another one from the same location, I'm assuming. Uh, okay, okay. Let's actually turn it around and see if it can identify the, the gertite. It's gotta, you gotta say, like, gertite, not goethite. God forbid, geophyte. See that sometimes. Makes me mad. Limonite. Okay, so, uh, gertite. <laughs> gertite is uh, a type of limonite. And that basically happens when you have some, some iron ore that gets all weathered down and sort of becomes moldy, almost. I don't know why I said moldy, but that, that, it, it makes sense, okay? So I was able to get it. That's good. That's good. Good job. Alright, so this is, I think, where it's going to get a bit challenging, because here I have a bunch of minerals that are either pretty vague, or there's a bunch of different minerals here, and it probably isn't going to be clear which one it's going to try to identify. 
However, a lot of these minerals tend to form together, so I'm thinking it's going to be able to sort of find similar compositions and be able to figure out the pattern. So let's start off with this one here. We've got some very nice grayish octahedral crystals. This one shouldn't be too hard. Okay, it started off with magnetite, which makes sense because it does have the octahedrons. Actually, that's interesting because the color and the, the luster of these crystals isn't typically what magnetite looks like. But I think what gave it away is the fact that they were octahedral. So that means it can actually look at sort of the shapes of the crystals instead of just the surface and what it sort of looks like. Uh, what else does it have? There's galena. Okay. Next we have another piece of galena, but there's another mineral on here, which I want to see if it can identify. It's a very crumbly, unstable mineral. Uh, we started with tetrahedrite, okay, another galena, and chalcopyrite. Not quite. Let's try again. It did get the galena, uh, but it didn't get what I wanted it to. Right, let's try, like, over here, maybe. Chalcopyrite. Marcosite, okay. It eventually got it. That's a weird piece of marcosite there. In fact, it looks like that's mostly galena. Yeah, there's, and most of these are literally just galena with a bit of marcosite on it. Next one here might also be a bit tricky. That might be a bit tough. All right, so it started with hematite, gertite, and pyrolusite. Let's take another picture. That picture kind of sucked. Pyrolusite, hematite, gertite. No match. All right, so this is magnesite. Magnesite? Or am I thinking of manganite? Nah, no, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 no. I was confused with you. No, because magnesite, that's like a, that's like a type of calcite, but it's magnesium. Pyrolusite. Manganite. Oh, well, now you get it. It, it. That's good enough. I got it wrong in the first time, too, so maybe me and the app aren't too dissimilar. Next up, oh, we have this gorgeous piece. It's got to get it. Zeolite. You know what? I, I will give it zeolite here because it isn't one mineral. It's many, but they are all zeolites. So. And then stillbite. Then fluorapophyllite. It got it got the apophyllite here. Oh, wait. Also known as apophyllite. So maybe fluorapophyllite is like the name it prefers to use instead of apophyllite. I've never heard that, but you know what? Good enough. All right, these next ones are probably going to be a bit trickier. We'll see. Uh, this one, I mind myself. Look at that. That nice blue. That's an aquamarine. Although it's probably just closer to some common barrel than aquamarine. It's blue. It's blue barrel. That means it's aquamarine. Okay? Barrel is typically ugly, and aquamarine is typically very nice. Pegmatite. Pegmatite is a rock. All right, so something interesting here is that the rock itself is... I guess pegmatite, like it's got the, the feldspar, the big chunks of quartz, and obviously the very large crystal of beryl, which that's sort of what pegmatite's known for. So, you know what? Fair enough. There are multiple minerals in here that do make it a pegmatite. Let's see what else it gives us. Fluorapatite, okay. And we have diopside. Let's see, let's see if we can correct the name. Beryl. Beryllonite, red beryl, helidor, pezotat you know what, I don't care anymore. It's an aquamarine. These last two are probably gonna be pretty hard. Here we have a very light green mineral, which could be a bunch of different things. I personally wouldn't be able to identify this. Okay. I don't know why I'm scrolling through these. It's Brazilianite. It got that first try. I'm actually impressed there. I would not have been able to identify this. So you know what, I, good job app. All right, one more. This, I think, is the ultimate test. This is not only a very vague mineral, but it is also not very colorful. It's part of a very complicated family of minerals and kind of dirty, to be honest. But if it can identify this, I will be genuinely impressed. Hornblend, good start. Hedenbergite and augite. Uh, we've, got, we've got some nice crystals here. Let's try that. Hedenbergite. I, I've never heard of that. Actinolite. Actinolite. It got actinolite. That, th this is actinolite. Okay, as soon as I showed it the crystal on there, it was able to identify it. Wait, that's funny. <laughs> Horn blend, a type of minerals. I mean, it's not wrong. So there you go. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with this app. This is by far the best app I have used. Um, I think it's time we get to some fun ones, so... 
Let's try some of these out. All right, let's start with some obsidian. This is a very cool kind of obsidian from uh, Mexico. All right, so it starts off with pyrite. It does have that sort of goldenish color. Obsidian, obsidian. It did give us obsidian. Uh, let's try this one here. So this one's pretty interesting because it does have the, the very thin needly crystals here and on the bottom it has these larger like bladed crystals. There, boom. Better get this first try. If it doesn't, I'm gonna, aragonite. Aragonite. Hydrozincite. What does that have to do with hydrozincite? That looks nothing, o it's white. It's white. I'm unsatisfied. This is very clearly gypsum. And what if, what if we just give it something just straight up like this? Selenite. There you go. Okay, so it had no idea what these thin little needly crystals were, but as soon as we gave it the bladey ones, it was able to identify it. Next one. This one's one of my favorites. Got this pretty recently. This is a bunch of alien eggs. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is some more gertite. It's very blobby. Gertite! There we go. No doubt about that. The picture even looked exactly like it. Next we have these very nice blue ones. There, there is like 300 different minerals that form in these little blue clusters like this. But we'll see. We'll see how it does here. Cavensite! It is cavensite. Good job. And last but not least, certainly not least, because this is like my favorite mineral. I have actually put this through many apps and they have all gotten it right so if this gets it wrong i will lose all hope in this app crooklet okay okay we're good we're good highly sought but rare mineral prize for its beautiful deep orange red color it is toxic all right so this is primarily a rock or mineral identifying app but i did want to know if it could identify fossils so let, let's try this huh it does give us fossils. Oh, and it'll also identify the uh, the amylite as well. I might actually get a piece of amylite in a sec. All right, we got a trilobite here as well. See if I can identify that. Fossil, a wide variety of colors. Okay, so this isn't exactly very good at identifying fossils, but you know, it was able to tell me that this was a fossil and that I should probably seek uh, identification elsewhere. All right, so here I have a massive chunk of what used to be an ammonite, but all we have here is that organic amylite material that has sort of that that glow to it. Let's see how it'll do against this, because I'm I'm pretty curious. Amylite. All right. What if we take a picture of something that literally just isn't a rock at all? Got a dog poo bag. Luckily unused. Let's just crumple this up and see what it gives us. All right. Tell me, Apple, what is this? Prophecy stone? What else does it have? <laughs> Hematite, sure. Shungite! Oh my gosh, I need your- I need your superpowers. You cannot stop me! I am the Shungite man! Alright, I think that's enough. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with this app. It is nice to see such a big improvement in this kind of technology, and it's also definitely good because it makes the hobby a lot more accessible to new people. But yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions, and uh, other than that, thank you for watching, happy new year, and uh, I'll see you next time. Happy collecting, everyone.